inching closer to the truth. But is she putting herself in danger? Find out later, but now, the luck of the drop is the name of the game. It's Tipping Point. I've just started a nude life drawing class. I'm not painting. I'm the model. Taking up a comfortable position for Tipping Point, sponsored by HSL Clever Comfort. Sitting centre stage, guarding a £10,000 jackpot is my mechanical co-star. Can anyone steal the limelight from her today? Welcome to the one and only Tipping Points. Hello and welcome to Tipping Point. Let's meet the four players who are hoping to win thousands today. I'm Paul, a retired mining surveyor from Barnsley. I'm Natalie, a senior personal banker from the West Midlands. I'm Jack, an account manager from Kent. And I'm Carol, a nanny from Stevenage. Good luck to you all. Let's play Tipping Points. In round one, you each start with three counters. Questions are on the buzzer. If you buzz in and give me a correct answer, you've got a choice to make. You can either choose to play one of your counters into the machine, or if you think the machine's not quite ready to pay out yet, you get one of your opponents to play one of theirs instead. Most of the counters you get out of the machine will have £50 to your score. That includes our mystery counters, which, of course, come with a bonus prize. But also nested in the machine, we do have two double counters. If one of those drops for you, it will double the entire value of your drop. As always, the person with the lowest score at the end of this round will leave the game with absolutely nothing. So do keep an eye on the double counters because they could make all the difference. Hands on your buzzers, comes your first question. According to the nursery rhyme, which character has lost her sheep and doesn't know Paul? Bo Peep. Doesn't know where to find them. Yes, it is, little Bo Peep. Uh, Paul, would you like to play or would you like to pass? I don't think she's ready to pay out yet, so I'm going to pass. Uh, and let Jack have a go, I think. Jack, you get to Thank launch you. us. OK, I'm going to go for drop zone one, please, then. OK, drop zone one for Jack, please. <laughs> Bouncy the wall. drop for you, Jack. Do you like that one? Yeah, against yeah. the wall. Good. Get a good little bit of purchase along the Ooh, side. Yeah, like it. Can we get you something out of the machine with your first drop? Oh, yes, well done. Start. Eked two across the tipping point there, Jack, £100. Let's put that into the machine and let's take it and put it straight into your bank. So you're off the mark with £100. You've got two counts left to play. OK. Next question. In the name of the British fashion retailer, which girl's name precedes the surname Millen? Carol. Karen. Yes, it is. Karen Millen, of course. Uh, would you like to play Carol? I'll play Ben. Where are you going to go? Um, I'll try drop zone one, please. Drop zone one for Carol, please. Bring that double forward, Carol. Ooh. Ooh. Ricochet drop for you there. Yeah. All the way down, took a lot of hits. Can we get something over, though? Uh, no. No, not this time. Just split the two counters, sadly. Mm. Nothing with your first drop. Carol, you've got two counts left to play. Thank you. Next question. The name of which English county provides the surname of former TOWIE star and TV personality, Paul? Essex. Yes, Joey. Joey Essex, of course, is who we're after. So, Paul, would you like to play this time? Yes, I will play this time. And drop zone one, please, Ben. OK, light up drop zone one, please. Slams down, it's gone left though. Is it going to be flat, Paul? It's going to be flat. Be flat. No, it's riding. It's riding. Oh, no. riding. Nothing there, Paul, sadly. Hello. Worth going for, but you pull the first rider from the machine. Nothing with your first drop. Next question Chelsea Football Club usually play their home games. Jack. Stamford Bridge. In shirts that are predominantly which oh. primary colour, Jack? Stanford Bridge is their home ground, of course it is, but it was the shirt colour we were after, which is blue. You've gone too soon there. I'm afraid we need to steal a counter from you, Jack. Thanks. That's going into the penalty pot. You'll all get a chance to play for that at the end of the round, so you've got just the one left. Next question. In 2016, which fast food chain introduced the limited edition Angriest Whopper Burger? Natalie. Burger King. It was Burger King. Yes, Natalie, you're absolutely right. So, do you want to play, Natalie? Um, I'd like to play, please, Ben. Um, okay. I think I'm going to go for drop zone one. Fire up drop zone one, please. Oh, 
Ooh, that's not bad either, is it? Oh, that's not going to settle. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, yeah, that's a good push. We get please that double get moving forwards. Please, please, please. Yay! Yeah, well done. Yeah. Five drop for you, Natalie. We're off the mark. £250 right there. Let's take it and put it into your bank. So that puts you in the lead on £250. You've got two counters left to play. Next question. Meaning painful or aching, the word sore is an anagram of which flower? Carol. Rose. Yes, it is, Carol. Uh, would you like to play, Carol? I'll play drop zone one, please, Ben. Fire one up for Carol, please. Yeah, nicely done. That looks good. Right, again, that's a good one. That black counter is going to drop, but you've managed to keep it on just in time. Yeah, there we go. Nicely Ooh, done. Is the double going to go for you here, Carol? Be so. nice if it does. Yay! Yeah! Cracking drop, well done. <laughs> Six counters across the tipping point there, Carol. £300, one of them being the double, means we can double it up there and give you another £300. So it takes your total with that one drop to 600 Let's take it and put it into your bank. We're out in the lead with Thank one counter you. left to go. Next question. The Twitter handle, at JTimberlake, belongs to which pop star? Natalie. Justin Timberlake. Yes. Well done, Natalie. Do you want to play? Um, I'm going to play, please, Ben. And I think I'm going to go for drop zone two and hope it goes to the left-hand side. All right, then. Far up, drop zone two, please. There's a few hanging on the left there, isn't there, on the tipping point? Silver one. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh, hard on the right. Yeah, good. At least it's flat, though. I'm going to split them. I'm going to split them. Never yeah, mind. You split. Nothing for you there, then. You've got one count left to play. Next question. According to the book of Exodus, what set of ten rules did Moses... Jack? Ten commandments. Did Moses receive from God on Mount Sinai? You're absolutely right, Jack. So, one last counter. Ooh, last counter. I'm going to play drop zone two. OK, let's load up drop zone two. Good luck, Jack. Stand into the middle, Jack, that one. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, well, you've got the ones in one as well. <laughs> so you're you. attacking on two fronts. Ooh, one doesn't pay out, but two does. Four counters drop for you there, Jack. That's £200. I needed that. Point. You did need it. Let's take it and put it into your bank. That's going to leave you on £300. You have now used all three counters, so for the time being, you're out of the round. Next question. Something that is difficult or demanding is often described as a tall what? Ball. Order. Indeed, it is a tall order, Paul. Right. Do you want to play or pass? I'll play, please, Ben. OK. Drop zone two, please. Fire two up, please. <laughs> Slide back. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> no like riders now. No, no, no. Yes, yeah. go on. <laughs> Give us a That'll big push this one. time. Yeah, go, on, go on, go on, Come go on. Go on. Yeah. Three drop, Three. Paul. We're up Thank and running. You. Well done. You needed that as well. I £150. Did. Pounds. Crosses the tipping point. Let's take it and put it into your bank. So that's going to leave you on £150. Pounds. You've got one counter left. Next question for Paul, Natalie and Carol. In 1977, which Swedish pop group, Paul, Abba. had a UK number one hit with Knowing Me, Knowing You? Paul, you're absolutely right. Thank you. You have one last counter. Drop zone two again, please, Ben. Drop zone two, please. Just rolling away flat. from that Please stack. Be flat. But we need to be flat here. Please we need flat. at least hundred pounds. Yeah, yep, be flat. Come on. To try and catch Natalie Paul. Give us a big push here. Oh, oh no. No, 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 no! It's not no. gonna do it. Oh, it's teetering. That silver one at the back oh, is no. just holding them in place, Paul. Yeah. Oh, that is really brutal, Paul. I'm afraid nothing drops from your final counter. So you stay on £150, you've now used all three counters, so for the time being, you're out of the round. They finally fell, but you're out of play and they've just fallen on top of the shelf below. So, Natalie and Carol, just the two of you left in. Next question. Silicon dioxide is the main component of which granular substance most commonly associated with beaches? Carol. Sand. Yes, it is sand. Carol, do you want to play? I will play drop zone two, please, Ben. Right. Light up drop zone two, please. Clean drop, hammers down. Is that mm, just going to find the gap? Mm. 
Did we do the last one on it? There. Oh, yes. Okay. Well, nice, well done. Oh, wow. Ooh, very nice drop, Carol. Well done. <laughs> Seven across the tipping point. Well done. £350. Let's take it and put it into your bank, Carol. And when we put it with the rest, that leaves you on a very healthy £950. So well played. Thank you. You have now used all three counters, though, Carol, so for the time being, you're out. Natalie, it's just you left in, because it's just you. You don't need to use your buzzer. Okay. You do need to give me the correct answer to this question to put your last counter into the machine. OK. Here we go. In April 2016, Danny Willett became the fourth British golfer to win which major tournament? Uh, the US Open. It wasn't the US Open, it was the Masters. It was the Masters that he won. Natalie, I'm afraid we steal your last counter. That goes okay. into the penalty pot. So as things stand, Carol is way out in the lead with £950. Jack has £300, Natalie 250 Paul 150 But it's not over. There are two counters up for grabs in the penalty pot. I'm going to ask you all one more question. If you buzz in and give me the correct answer, you'll put both these counters into the machine. If you buzz in and give me the wrong answer, you will be frozen out. Good luck, everybody. Here comes your penalty pot question. Originally published as Voina Emir, the English translation of Tolstoy's novel is known as War and Jack. Peace. War and Peace is absolutely right, Jack. Well done. You got there just before, Paul. I'm afraid we're going to lose you in your glorious shirt. OK. I can't believe it. I'm so sorry. Uh, Jack, you've got two counters here, though, to try and catch Carol. Drop zone two, still one for me. Yep. Down, settles nicely. Just gonna find a gap. They're gonna get anything over there. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Go on. Nothing with your first drop. Um, yeah, I'll stick with number two, please. Well, let's have drop zone two again, please. I certainly want to get something if we can. Oh. Steadier drop, same place, but could well work nicely. Yeah. Here we go. Here well. we go. Yeah. Nice get broad shove. Oh, come on. Oh. <laughs> oh. Just the two have fallen. That silver count, you can see it dangling over the edge. £100 crosses the tipping point. Let's take that and put it into your bank. And that means at the end of the round, Carol is leading with £950. Jack has £400. Natalie is through with £250. Paul, I'm so sorry, but that does mean with £150, we have found your tipping point. Thank you for playing. Thank you, Ben. So join us after the break, see which of today's three remaining players will win through to our head to head and a shot at our £10,000 jackpot. See you in a bit. I'm not one to gossip, but now the whole village knows about it. Tipping Point, sponsored by HSL Clever Comfort. It's unreal, we can't believe we're here. Give it up, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go back, I want to stay here. You turned into me. Yeah. Let's do it. Daddy, I'm gonna cry. That made my decision. So, so. The X Factor Judges Houses, Saturday at 8.20 and Sunday at 7 on ITV. Standard aerosols may contain added water, which could eventually fall down and make your lovely home wet. Introducing Airwick Pure with no added water. It fills your home with vibrant fragrance without getting it wet. Airwick Pure. Just fragrance, no wet spray. This Wednesday's £24.5 million lotto jackpot must be won. Who wins if you win? My mum. Because I love my mum. Lotto. Get your ticket today. At Morrison's, these tubs of Haribo and Swizzles are terrifyingly good at any two for five pounds. Halloween. Morrison's makes it. Not everything is as dark as it seems. New Green and Black's Velvet Edition, a range of sumptuously smooth dark chocolate. Right now at Homebase, we're all about amazing autumn value. Like three for two on Dulux Colour Demulsion, but hurry, offer ends Monday. And don't miss our half-price garden plants clearance. Plus, Crown 2.5 litre pure white interior paint. £10. Homebase, always low prices. Guess who's excited to be back? Oh, he's got quite a grip. Who's gonna get 
I'm too old for this. It's like I've got my hands full this time. A brand new series of Paul O'Grady for the love of dogs starts tomorrow at 8.30 on ITV. Taking up a comfortable position for Tipping Point. Sponsored by HSL Clever Comfort. Welcome back to Tipping Point, where Natalie, Jack and Carol have all survived to play in round two. In this round, they'll each have 30 seconds to answer as many questions as possible. As before, any counters that come out are worth £50, with the exception, of course, of the bonus double counter. We've got one left in the machine. The player with the lowest score at the end of the round will leave the game with absolutely nothing. So, Carol, you are leading from round one, which means it's your choice. Would you like to play first? Or would you like to pass to Jack or Natalie instead? I think I'll go first. Ben. Okay, 30 seconds for you then, Carol. Every time you get a question mark, I'll give you a counter. If you don't know, just say pass. You ready? Okay. 30 seconds for Carol, please. Your time starts now. At the 1997 Brit Awards, Jerry Halliwell famously wore a dress depicting the flag of which country? It's Union Jack. It's United Kingdom. <sighs> in 2002, Rowan Williams was elected to which role in the Church of England? Archbishop of Canterbury. Correct. In 2015, who did Jurgen Klopp replace as manager of the Liverpool Football Club? Pass. Brendan Rodgers. <sighs> The centuries-old proverb is, like father, like who? Son. Correct. Rupert Graves plays D. Isla Strad in which BBC drama starring Pops. Benedict Cumberbatch? Pops. Sherlock. Which mythical creature is often used to represent the star sign Sagittarius? A centaur. Uh, two correct answers. OK. Two counts put into the machine. Where would you like to go? I'm going to stick with drop zone two. There's a good bunch waiting to fall there. OK. Fire up two, please. <laughs> Got to be hard on the left. There's a big gap on that top shelf. Get that mystery down, you do it. Just about there, yep. Yeah, okay. this could be good. Might get that black counter over. Might go. Oh, oh not, not quite. Not time. enough. Not enough. OK, so you've got one more to go, Carol. OK. Where now? Drop zone two again, please. Stay with two, please. That could be good. It could. Here we go. Okay. Now, how's the bottom shelf looking? Can you take them out? Oh, no, no, no. no. Just oh, managed what? to set a couple up on the tipping point there, Carol. <laughs> but sadly, nothing drops. So we can't add anything to your score. You stay on £950. Okay. So, Jack, we come to you. It's your choice now. You could play next, or you, if you wanted to, you could pass to Natalie. I'd be crazy to ignore that. <laughs> <laughs> Hanging off there. So, yeah, I'll play, please, Ben. 30 seconds, Jack, please. Your time starts. Now, the Dalmatian dog characteristically has dark spots on a coat of which colour? White. Correct. Dolce Rosa Ichalsa is a fragrance by which luxury Italian fashion house? Dolce & Gabbana. Correct. Who had a 1987 UK number one hit single with Stand By Me? Benny King. Correct. What is the official first language of Denmark? Danish. Correct. Hanif Qureshi's 1990 novel was entitled The Buddha of where? Uh, India. Suburbia. Brass is an alloy consisting largely of copper and which other metallic element? Zinc. It is zinc. Which meat is most often used? We've run out of time, but which meat is most often used in the traditional Kashmiri dish, Rogan Josh? Lamb. It is a lamb dish, yes, Jack. That would have given you six as it is. We're out of time with that, but oh, five yeah. correct answers. Oh, well, very, very it. well done. Uh, five counters put into the machine. Where would you like to start? Drop zone two, please, Ben. Okay, drop zone two for Jack, please. Hammer's down. It's down. Hammer drop for you there. Is that going to just fill that last gap yeah, it's a there? filler. Oh, no, you're OK. Just shifted. Oh, oh that's a good start that's the for one. you there, Jack. So, Jack, there's 11 counts between you and Carol. That's six across the tipping point with your first drop. So, close the gap dramatically. It's 300 pounds now. Yeah, and I think I'm going to stick with drop zone two, please, Ben. OK, fire up drop zone two again, please. Going right down the middle again. It's flat. Can we get something here? <sighs> OK. So you put your second counter in, nothing comes out. And you've still got three more to go, Jack. Yeah, I've still got to stick with number two. OK, drops into again, please. So, yeah. just five counts between you. And Carol now. Come on. Oh. Come on then. 
Come shove on. it forward. Oh, one drops. 50 pounds goes in. But the danglers stay. They do. They are still teasing you on the edge, aren't they? You've got two left to play. Do you stay with it or do you try something new? I'm going to go for number one this time. Fire up one, please. Could be the answer this, Jack. Ah, that there's one. a couple on the that edge here, too. though. No, I do, it's on the edge. This a lateral could even do it. Cool, well, there's a stack of three. There is. Nicely done. Well, another two, Jack. £100 drops up to £450. And you've got one last count to put into the machine. This time, I've got to go back to two. I've got to stop Natalie getting them. OK, fire up drop zone two, please. Just two counters catch to Carol. Flies down. They've all been pretty central, Quite haven't they? Deep. Yeah. I'm not sure it's going to work, though. Is that black one oh. going to go? No, Jack! Well, goodness me. You persevered with drop zone two. <laughs> £450. You had five counts to put in the machine. I thought you might get more than that. Yeah, Let's take that 450 from the machine and put it into your bank. So that leaves you £100 shy of Carol. You've got £850, Jack. Well done. So, Natalie, we come to you. 30 seconds for Natalie, please. Your time starts now. In which sport is Matthew Pinsent famous for winning four Olympic gold medals? Um, long jump. Rowing. The country Angola is situated in the southern part of which continent? Africa. Correct. Originally titled number 11, the 1952 abstract painting Blue Poles is by Jackson who? Pass. Pollock. The 1955 film The Dam Busters is set during which world war? Second world war. Correct. The ceremony of the keys is held every night in which London castle on the bank of the River Thames? Um, well, pass. Tower of London. <laughs> Part of the civil rights movement in America, the Montgomery bus boycott took place during which decade? It was the 50s. Right then, two counters here, Natalie. Okay. You've got two chances to try and catch Jack. I think I'm going to go for drop zone two. Fire up drop zone two, please. <laughs> uh, central, they're all falling central in drop zone two. That's what we need, really. Oh. In the middle, but the middle's pretty sparse, no, isn't it? Definitely. Woo. Three counters. £150. Pounds. You've got one last count to put into the machine. OK, I think I'm going to go for drop zone one this time. Fire up one, please. That's not too bad. Please don't ride. It's a bit flat. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that is just typical. I just had the two to play with Natalie, sadly. Oh, never mind. And one of them ends up being a rider, so it's not going to be enough. Mm. You had a big job on your hands. £150 is all we managed to get. Let's take that and put it into your bank. And that means at the end of the round. Carol is leading with £950, just ahead of Jack on £850. Natalie, I'm afraid that means with £400, we have found a tipping point. Thank you for playing. That's fine. I've had a lovely day. Thank Great you, stuff, Natalie. Thank you. So it is Jack and Carol who will be going head-to-head -head after the break for the right to play for our £10,000 jackpot. See you in a couple of minutes. I love to ski. Spend kids' inheritance. Taking up a comfortable position for Tipping Point. Sponsored by HSL Clever Comfort. In a time of unimaginable change, a man with an unstoppable dream invented a sound that would be remembered forever. A sound he called Motown. Oh, give me one more Motown, the musical, live in the West End. Book now. Introducing the Renault Crossover Range, featuring the all-new Colios, Renault Kajar, and new Capture. Get up to £6,000 off a brand new Kajar with the Renault Scrappage Scheme, now with 4.9% APR representative. Stains happen, and sometimes detergent alone is not enough. On the flip side, you can remove them with Vanish Gold. 
It removes over 100 stains, from the regular to the rare. Even those detergent alone can't. Vanish Gold. 100 stains tested, 100 stains sorted. Get ready for gifting. At Argos, our new gift guide is out now. Entertain the kids this half term with hundreds of toys dropped in price, including top brands like VTech and Transformers. And we've got a full range of amazing toys, including Lego Ninjago and My Little Pony. Plus, save up to a third on selected kids' bikes and scooters. Get a great deal faster with Fast Track same day delivery. Go play, go Argos! Over 10 years, a poorly insulated home with inefficient windows and doors could leak up to £2,800. And with rising electricity costs, this is likely to get worse. The Anglian Windows and Doors Scrappage Scheme can help, offering up to £3,000 to scrap your old windows and doors and install new thermally efficient ones, saving you energy and money and transforming your home at a price you can afford. Make your house an Anglian home. Call 0800 500 600 today for your free no-obligation quote or go online. <laughs> the pillow everyone loves, protection. Dettol disinfectant spray kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria even on soft surfaces. Dettol, what it takes to protect. It was at my old job and I was moving an appliance up a flight of stairs um, and the guy I was working with lost his footing and this fridge freezer kind of landed on my chest. And it still causes me pain now. Yeah, I can imagine it's very painful for you then. Yeah, it was, yeah. OK, with the information you've given me, I believe this is worthy of further investigation. If you've been injured in an accident and it feels wrong, call us on 0800 556 557 to see if you might have a claim. Thanks for your help, mate. You've been, uh, you've been a gent. Not a problem at all. National Accident Helpline. Right now at Homebase, we're all about amazing autumn value. Like three for two on Dulux Colour Demulsion, but hurry, offer ends Monday. And don't miss our half-price garden plants clearance. Plus, Crown 2.5 litre pure white interior paint. £10. Home base. Always low prices. Anthony Joshua, you better be ready. I ain't got a clue what to do. <laughs> I love the fact that you still live at home. Two bedrooms, one bathroom. When I had my son, I started realising that there's someone that's going to be here after I'm gone. Bears Mission with Anthony Joshua. Friday the 27th of October on ITV. Set a reminder now. Taking up a comfortable position for Tipping Point. Sponsored by HSL Clever Comfort. Welcome back to Tipping Point, where just two players remain, Jack and Carol. Very well done to both of you for getting this far. In this round, you're each going to be asked three questions alternately. On your question, you can choose to answer or you can pass it to your opponent. If you give me a correct answer, you put your counter into the machine. If you give me a wrong answer, your opponent puts the counter into the machine. Whoever has the most money at the end of this round will be today's winner and will be playing for £10,000. So, Carol, you are leading, so that means you get to choose. Would you like to play the first counter or would you like to pass it to Jack? I think I'll play. OK. First question for you, Carol. Which Charlie Chaplin character made his screen debut in the 1914 film Kid Auto Races at Venice? You can play or you can pass to Jack. I think I'm going to pass. Over to you, Jack. Um, struggling for a guess. Um, Charlie Chaplin is Mr Smith. You've got to give me something. <laughs> Have you got the right answer? Was it Mr Smith? No, it was the Tramp. So, Carol, you get the counter. Where are you going to go? Drop zone two. OK, fire up drop zone two, please. And it rolled back, back right to the middle. Right into the middle. Oh, it okay. might even ride. It might ride. Oh, it's flat, though. OK. So, Let's if you see. can squeeze those two, the black one and the silver one, you've got a chance. Oh. There you go. OK. Can it's we take this go. one out? Finally, they're going to go, yes! <laughs> oh. Well done! <laughs> that surprised me. Six counters, Carol. Really nice drop. Well read. £300 there. Let's take it and put it into your bank. And that takes you up to £1,250. Right then, Jack. We come to you. Time for your first question. The iconic Manchester nightclub, The Hacienda, was owned by Factory Records and the members of which band? I think it was the guys in New Order. You get them in New Order? Yeah. OK, the iconic Manchester nightclub, The Hacienda, it was owned by Factory Records 
And was it owned by New Order? Yes. Oh, well well done. done, Jack. Very, very good knowledge, that. You get the counter. Where are you going to go? I'm going to go all the way to number four. OK, jump zone four, please. Eight counters now, £400 between you. Let's close that gap if we can, Jack. Ooh, on the edge. Plummet drop in the end. Go on, go on, go on. Yep. Now, anything here Come we on. can get you. We need to try and get something if we can. Yes, three counters. Well done, Jack. £150. Of course, it's the tipping point. Let's take it and put it straight in your bank. That's going to put you on £1,000. So, Carol, we come back to you. And time for your second question. Which secondary colour is the top right square in the Microsoft logo? You can play it or you can pass this to Jack. Do you think Jack would know? Mm. I think he's probably going to know, so I'm going to guess. You're going to have a guess, OK? Purple. You're going with purple. All right, if Carol had passed that one, Jack, what would you have said? I would probably have gone for blue. You might have gone with blue. Jack wasn't 100% sure, Carol. You've gone with purple. Are you right? Is the answer purple? No, it's green. Carol, hard luck. You get that one wrong, Jack. You get the counter to put into the machine. OK. Where do you want to go? Drop zone four, I think. OK, four up, please. Five counts between you now. On that side again. It's on the edge. Let's keep things moving. Ooh, go, 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 go. Nicely come done. On. Is this going to do it? Come on, come on. Oh, well oh. done. Four counters drop, Jack. £200 there. Let's take it and put it into your bank. And that takes you up to 1200 Jack, you keep control. It's time for your second question. Cerise is the French word for which fruit? I'm going to play that. I, I grew up in Dover, I can see the place, <laughs> and I've had many cherry puddings in the past. So, cherry, please. You're going with cherry. Carol, yes. what would you have said? Yeah, I would have said you cherry. You said cherry as well. Let's find out, Jack. Cerise, is that the French word for cherry? Yes, it is. So, this counter would be the cherry on the cake, Jack, if you can catch Carol. Yeah, well, I'm sticking with four. It's been good to me. Let's do it. Drop zone four, please. The action's on the left now, isn't it? I don't want it to go right, if it's all possible. Low drop. Uh, okay. On. Okay. Flat. Come on then. Down it goes. Yes. Come on. Slide out. Where's it going to go? Oh yes. Well done. Go on. That's going to sneak you into the lead, Jack. Well done. Three counters is 150 pounds. Let's take it from the machine and put it to your bank. And for the first time, Jack is now leading with 1,350 pounds. So, Carol, we come back to you. Time for your third and final question. Located off the coast of Wales, on which island was the British arm of the Women's Institute founded in 1915? I think I'm going to play this, Ben. OK, Carol. I'm going to say Anglesey. You're going with Anglesey. OK, let's find out then, Carol. We need this counter. Is the answer Anglesey? Yes! Well done. Great stuff, Carol. Let's put the counter into the machine. Drop zone four, Ben, please. Let's go for four, please. Again, not on the right, if it's all possible. Oh, yeah. It's a bit of a space there, isn't there? Yeah. Now, I can stay on that black count, you've got a chance. To nudge the silver. Yes, it's worked. Go on. Are you going to get enough to go the lead? Oh, you're going to get enough <laughs> to close the gap. £100 <laughs> drops. Two counters. <laughs> Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank. That brings you level with Jack. £1,350. Oh, <laughs> down to this. Jack, control passes back to you. Time for your third and final question. When the character of Barbara Gordon made her comic book debut in 1967, what was the name of her superhero alter ego? I don't know it, but I'm going to say Wonder Woman. You're going to say Wonder Woman? Yes. OK. Carol, what would you have said? I'd have said Wonder Woman. You'd have gone Wonder Woman as well? Yeah. So the big question, Jack, have you got the right answer? If you have, and you just need one out, to be confirmed as today's champion and to be playing for £10,000. <laughs> it all comes down to this. Was it Wonder Woman? No, it was Batgirl. Oh. It was Batgirl. Carol, so Jack mixed up his superheroes. You get the counter. Where would you like to put your last counter? I'm sticking with four, Ben. Drop zone four it is. Fire up, please. Here we 
go. Oh, it's gone over to the right now. Is that going to take the black one out, or is that just going to squeeze? Think it'll be right. enough. That's, no, no, Carol! All right. Oh! <laughs> Huge sigh from Jack. <laughs> he can't quite believe it. Still in. So, after all those questions, all those counters, there is nothing separating you. So, it comes down to sudden death. I'm going to ask you both one more question. If you buzz in and give me the correct answer to this question, you are today's winner and you'll be playing for £10,000. If you buzz in and give me the wrong answer, your opponent will be today's champion and will be playing for £10,000. Okay. OK? Good luck to both of you. Here comes your sudden death question. In 1543, Catherine Parr became Jack... Henry VIII. ..became the sixth wife of which Tudor king? Well done, Jack. You went early and you were right to do it. Henry VIII is absolutely the correct well answer. Done, Jack. Oh, goodness oh, me, Carol, I'm so sorry. Oh, that was a good match. <laughs> it was a fantastic <laughs> game. Just got there before you, Carol. I'm afraid that means that we're going to be losing you now. Okay. We've got to the end of the round. So, Jack is today's winner with £1,350. He gets through on sudden death. Carol, I'm so sorry, but I'm afraid with £1,350 uh, we have found your tipping point. Thank you for playing. Thank you, Ben. Congratulations, Jack. Thank you. In a few moments, I'm going to ask you to put this jackpot counter into the machine. It's a little bit bigger, but it's a whole lot better. Jackpot Jack. If you can get it out again, you will indeed be Jackpot Jack, and you'll be going home with £10,000. Okay. Can Jack master the machine by finding its £10,000 tipping point? We'll find out after the break. Norman's in the garden shed, along with all the other clutter I don't want in the house. Tipping Point, sponsored by HSL Clever Comfort. Get ready for gifting. At Argos, our new gift guide is out now. Get our lowest prices ever on these Hisense 4K TVs with Freeview Play from only £419. Plus, get up to 40% off selected Crock-Pot slow cookers. And get the new Xbox One S Minecraft Limited Edition console for £349.99. Plus, get Cars 3 for £20. Buy it today, pay nothing for six months when you spend £99 or more with the Argos card. Go Argos. At some stores, you might pay £3,000 for this kitchen. But at Homebase, you get a lot more for the same price. Instead of just the shell, you get the complete kitchen. The cupboards, appliances, worktops and all the finishing touches. So why waste £3,000 on this when you can have all this for £1,758? That's unbeatable value. So come challenge us on price. We're confident you won't find better value on kitchens. Homebase. Always low prices. For 45 years, Swale Heating has been keeping the southeast of England warm. If you need a new boiler, we can get one fitted within 48 hours if necessary. We have over 300 highly qualified engineers who can fit you a leading A-rated Worcester Bosch boiler from £1,800. You could save up to £350 a year on your heating bills, plus it comes with a warranty of up to 10 years and a free one-year maintenance contract. Move at the speed of Swale. Call 0800 731 3344 for a boiler quote today. It's more than a cardigan, it's love at first sight. To keep it lovable for longer and fresh, I care for it with an awe. Its anti-age 3 technology helps protect against stretching, fading and bobbling. And wear after wear, it turns your fling into lasting love. I feel good in an awe. OK, dear Mr and Mrs Moran family, Enclosed are the results of your Marmite gene test. These show whether you were born a lover or a hater. You ready? Yep. Get in, all lovers. Oh, I it. hate it! I hate it! He's never even tried it. The freshness of a toilet can disappear rather quickly. Harpic Fresh Power cleans and delivers a freshness that lasts for up to 500 flushes. Discover Harpic Fresh Power. Hop in. <laughs> so who's the porky passenger? Car insurance bill. Ten. Let's give him this. <laughs> Getting fatter all the time. <laughs> Driving me bananas. Don't go spare. As bills get matter, it's no matter, go compare. Their unbiased information could save millions across the nation. Stop you 
before you go bananas, go compare. Part of Crime and Punishment season. Gordon Ramsay on cocaine. Tomorrow at 9 on ITV. Taking up a comfortable position for Tipping Point. Sponsored by HSL Clever Comfort. Welcome back to the final part of Tipping Point. Jack is our winner today and has managed to get £1,350. I think it's fair to say that was pretty epic. That was, yeah, to, on the wire, to the edge. Well, look, you've got in, and now you're about to take on the machine for £10,000. All right. Uh, what would you do with the jackpot, Jack, if you were to win it? Um, well, the house I uh, moved into, um, some mad people have carpeted the bathroom. OK. So, and, yeah, and the shower's a bit dodgy, so maybe a new bathroom nice. and the rest... A nice holiday, perhaps. A nice it? holiday. Well, look, fantastic. £10,000 will certainly allow you to sort out the bathroom. It will. And get away to some sun or something like that, Jack. So, fingers crossed we can get you the jackpot. In a few moments, I'm going to ask you to put the jackpot counter into the machine. If you want to go home with £10,000, Jack, you just need to get it out again. Of course, okay. there's a little bit more to it than that. I'm going to show you six question categories. For each category, you can choose to play one, two or three counters into the machine. The more counts you play for, the harder the question will be. But the more counts you win, the easier it should be to get the jackpot counter out. Uh, don't forget, we do still have the one double counter in the machine there. Top shelf, drop zone three. It doesn't affect the jackpot itself, but it is worth keeping an eye on because it does still double anything else that falls with it. And of course, if you don't get your hands on the jackpot counter, you still collect money for all the counters that drop for you during this end game. That said, ideally, we just want to send you home with 10 grand. Yes, that'd be great. OK, so we need to put the precious jackpot counter into the machine, Jack. What are your thoughts on where to put it? Four has been so good to me the last round, and you've got the mystery prize as well, so, yeah, it's got to be four. All me. right, we'll have drop zone four, please. Important drop this one, Jack. Let's get it yeah. nice and flat. OK. Let's give ourselves a chance. OK. Bad. Not bad at all, it all is. All flat for me so far. No riders yet? None. Good stuff. All right. Let's make sure we don't get any in this round. And we can keep collecting money and we can keep that jackpot moving. So four counters to get us started. Let's put £200 in. Takes us up to £1,550. Your jackpot counter nice and flat. Just to the right of centre and drops over four. Mm. Let's take a look at the categories then, Jack. This is what we've got. Geography, food and drink, science, film, transport and tennis. You can play them in any order you like. So when you're ready, watch your first one. How many counters? OK, um, I'm going to take my weakest one first, which is food and drink. OK. And go for three. We'll have food and drink, please, for three counters to get started. Traditional Italian mozzarella cheese is made with the milk from which animal? A merino sheep, a mountain goat or water buffalo? Well, I don't know this. Um, water buffaloes are native to Africa, so I've got to rule that out. Um, merino sheep, sheep is sort of more of these sort of fettery type of cheese, the whiter cheese. Not being 100%, but I think I'm going to have to go for the mountain goat. Yeah. yeah. Play mountain goat, please, Ben. All right, we're going to take mountain goat, please. Traditional Italian mozzarella cheese. Is it made with the milk of a mountain goat? Oh, oh it was the water buffalo, you know. It was. No, it wasn't the sheep, the water buffalo. Wow. Originally. I've learned something today. OK, let's not worry about that one. You said it was your weakest, so it would have been yeah. the bonus had we got it. Let's go back to the let's categories. Let's go for geography for three, please. Geography for three, please. One of the world's largest wetland areas, the Pantanal, lies mainly in which South American country? Chile, Venezuela or Brazil? Chile, very mountainous, desert. Rule that one out completely. OK. But Brazil is huge. Brazilian Pantanal, Venezuelan Pantanal. Again, not being sure, but I think I'm going to have to go for Brazil. Should we light up Brazil? Let's light it up. I'm going to go with Brazil, then. Let's find out. Is the answer Brazil? Yes! yes. Well All done. Right. That's what we needed. 
Work that out beautifully. Three counters. Let's get started. OK, well, number four it is. Top ten four, please. Slide back a touch. Filled that gap. We've got a little, oh, wow. little squeeze on it, a little nudge, mm. but nothing more. Let's see if we get a couple here. Oh. Yeah, two candles. Drop this, put £100 in. Money goes up to £1,650. Two to go. OK, yeah, stick with four. Four up, please. <laughs> that could be good to shift some of the weight in front of the jackpot across, counter. Yeah. Get that mystery going. Come on. Yeah, that's not bad. Might get the mystery in. Yeah. Come on. Can we close? Oh, just hanging on. £50 drops, let's put that in. <laughs> £1,700. One more to go. Yeah, number four, please, Ben. Fire up, please. <laughs> there, there. There we go. That is on the money. We're perfectly lined up. Bang. Shove it through. Let's... Come on. Well done. Right, let's take out maybe a couple there. Oh. Yeah. The mystery nudge is closer, £100 drops. Let's put it in, £1,800. Great shot. Your jackpot counts on the edge of that top shelf there. We're in great shape, and the mystery's right on the tipping point, too. Let's go back to the categories. Where next? Well, it's got to be, got to be science for three. Science for three, please. In an electric circuit, what quantity is measured by an amateur? Electric current, resistance or voltage? You have a voltmeter for voltage. Mm -hmm. uh, electrical current is measured in amps. Um, amp meter, amperes. And resistance is measured in ohms. So I'll go for the logical one, electric current. Electric current? Yes. Should we light it up? Please light it We're up. We're going to take electric current, please. In an electric circuit, what quantity is measured by an ammeter? Is it an electric current? It is. There we go. Well done. So three counters. Great stuff. Well done, Jack. Yes. Let's keep hammering number four. Bar four up, please. Come on, come on, come on. Right, that would be good if we can get that mystery counter yeah. off the jackpot. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, it's it's, it's weird, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Oh, hey. brilliant. Okay. Risky prize. We've got four counts across the tipping point. Let's put £200 in. Takes us up to £2,000. And one of them is the mystery prize, which is an indoor skydiving experience, courtesy of Air Kicks. All right, yeah. Which will be fantastic fun. Yeah, brilliant. You'll love it. We've got two more to put in as well. Drop zone yeah. four again. Drop zone four. Fire up, please. For the last one, then let's see if it can yeah, shift it. Fill that gap. Yeah, that's better, that's better, that's better. Yeah, yes. nicely done. Nice broad shove as well. Yeah. Hey. Well done. Ka-ching. Another five drop. Let's put £250 in. £2,250. One more to go. One more to go on number four, yeah. Fire up, please. Yeah, steady, 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 steady. It's, you might shift it still. It's bits a touch. Ooh. It's a bit heavier. Just a touch heavier. Fifty pounds drops in though. Let's keep it fifty pounds. Two thousand three hundred pounds now in the machine. We're shaping up the shelf nicely. Let's have a look at the categories then. Okay. I'll yeah carry on in order. I think with film. Film for how many? Three. Film for three, please. Which of these actors starred as Rob De Niro's stepson in the 1993 film This Boy's Life? Leonardo DiCaprio, Ben Affleck or Matt Damon? I think Affleck and Damon did stuff together. So, by that logic, I'm going to go for DiCaprio. Yeah? Yes. Should we light up DiCaprio? Light up DiCaprio. I'm going to take DiCaprio, please. So, one of those actors starred as Rob De Niro's stepson. Was it Leonardo DiCaprio? Yes. yes, well done. Thank Brilliantly you. worked out again. Jack, 
Drop zone four. Drop zone four. Fire up. Come back, come back, come back. Yeah, it's, it's getting a bit... Yeah. Oh, little nibble, little nibble. Yeah, it's getting a squeeze on it. it. We'll take the 50 that drops. Takes up to 2,350 in the machine. Two more to go. Yep, let's stick with four. OK, drop zone four again, please. Down, steady, 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 steady. That gone too far, I'm not I think sure. it might be just okay. No. Ah, there you go. Yes. Lovely All stuff. Right, here Come we on. Go. Lining up the prizes. Nicely done. <laughs> 50 pounds drops. Let's put that in 2,400. And we've got the jackpot counter and the mystery lined up together. Looking good. It is looking great. One more to go here, yeah. Jack. Number four. Fire four up for us, please. <laughs> Again, that That's might help. Yeah, well, it's going to go it's gonna move it, over to the left now. Shapes it up. Now, is that going to sneak round? A little. Oh, it's close. Two drop. <laughs> 100 pounds goes in. 2,500 pounds in the machine. Your jackpot count on the bottom shelf. Your mystery counters hanging over the edge. Let's go back to the categories. Um, I'm going to take transport for three, please. You're going to stay with three counters for Absolutely. transport this time, please. The 1818 invention known as the dandy horse was the forerunner to which mode of transport? Bicycle, steam train or tram? OK, bicycle, you had penny farthings and bone shakers. They were just bicycles. Steam train, you had Stevenson's rocket. I think I'm going to go for tram. Tram? Yeah, take a punt and let's light up tram, please. OK, we're going to take tram, please. Let's find out. The dandy horse. It was an invention from 1818. Was it the forerunner to the tram? Oh, it was the first two-wheeled vehicle. Uh, so it was the forerunner to the bicycle. Well... OK, we've got one last category. Tennis. Tennis, yeah, I like tennis. So let's go for three. Tennis for three, please. How many times did Swedish tennis champion Bjorn Borg win the French Open? Four, six or eight? All the big tournaments he won, Grand Slams, whether French or Wimbledon. He won Wimbledon five times. I think he won 11 Grand Slams, is ringing a bell. Five plus six is 11. Yeah, six. You going with six? Light it up. We're going to take six, please. Not sure, though. Some great knowledge, if you're right, all of that. Did Bjorn Borg win the French Open six times? Yes! yes, he did. Thanks, Ben. That is a really impressive knowledge, Jack. <laughs> so three counters. Drop zone four. Drop zone four. Fire up. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yes, now. That's, that's is right. it going to stay on the which one? Depends which one it hits first. Go on, the black counter. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, come on. Both. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We're getting close, Jack. Yes. Two counters drop. Let's put £100 in. We're up to £2,600. The mystery price has dropped. Jack, you've won yourself a city break to Amsterdam, courtesy of iStolly.com. Ah, oh, perfect. Which yeah. I'm sure you will enjoy. Love Amsterdam. Two to go. Drop zone four. Fire up. Come on. Ooh. Come on, that's... Jack, that's Ooh, all right. Might be all right, yes. Come on. Stay on the silver counter. Oh. Oh. It's, oh, it's going to come down to this. It's shaped up nicely. Everything's set. It's this just... is all down to this one. Comes down to this drop. So let's go number four again. Drop zone four, please. Oh, oh, I'm not sure if it's far oh. enough, is it? No, it's probably not going to be enough. Uh. Come on, slide this way, slide this way. I'll have a little nudge. A little nudge! Oh! Yoy, 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 yoy. 50 pounds drops across the tipping point. Takes us up to 2,650 pounds. Oh, Jack. <laughs> so, we're out of categories, which means we're out of questions. Yeah. However, it's not over. 
I'm going to offer you one last chance to leave today with £10,000. As things stand, you've got yourself £2,650. You can walk away with that money right now, or you could trade it for three final counters to put in the machine in the hope of leaving with £10,000. If you decide to take the trade, nothing else has any value, so you leave with £10,000, or you leave with nothing at all. Big question for you, Jack. OK. Would three counters be enough? It's hanging. I got my weekend break in Amsterdam with skydiving. It's hanging. Let's do it. Trade. I'll ask you one last time then, Jack. Would you like to take the money or would you like to take the trade? I would like to take the trade, please, Ben. It's good to take the trade, everybody. <laughs> so £2,650 you've just given me. <laughs> Thank you. That's, you know, my pleasure. I'm going to give you <laughs> three counters. You just need to drop it in the right place and you've got £10,000. Let's go number four. Drop zone four, please. Come on. I believe. Come on, stay right, stay <sighs> right. Oh, it's just nudging a few here and there. OK, so we're shaping up nice. Nice, pat, top shelf. It's not a bad thing. Two to go. OK, number four again, please. We'll take drop zone four one more time, please. Jack! This is it, this is it. Come on. Is that your £10,000 drop? Drop for me, drop for me. Is it time? Is that riding? Is it going to ride? Oh, it's dropped. It's dropped. Is it coming, Jack? Pop Jack? Yes! yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant. Well oh, done, yes. mate. Well done. Did that just happen? £10,000. You have just won £10,000. I'm overjoyed. Fantastic. Congratulations. Thank well you so done. much. Just delighted for you. Ah. Well, Jack made his mark from the start with some tasty drops in round two. He sailed into round three, slightly trailing his opponent, but it was Jack who nailed the sudden death question for his place in the final. Then with some brilliantly placed counters, he shifted the jackpot counter, so it was just teetering over the tipping point. Then bravely took the trade, and on his second trade counter, jackpot Jack aced the golden star into the win zone for a very well-deserved £10,000. Not only that, of course, you've won your indoor skydiving experience and your city break to Amsterdam. What a day. I'd say it's been pretty good. Yeah. You're speechless. I am. I'm totally delighted. Bring on Amsterdam. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, well played. It's been an absolute Thank treat to so alongside you. And that's Thoroughly fantastic enjoyed that. finish as well. What a way to win that on the trade. A very worthy winner is our Jack here. Join us next time when the fate of four more players will hang in the balance on Tipping Point. Goodbye. Well done, Jack. Well, Billy and Todd's adoption plans come under threat in Coronation Street tonight. Your double bill starts at 7.30 and continues at 8.30. And we're back at the Seaside Surgery after that here on ITV when the new series of Dot Martin continues at 9. But stay with us for the chase on the way next. Tipping Point, sponsored by HSL Clever Comfort. It was at my old job when I was moving an appliance up a flight of stairs. Um, and the guy I was working with lost his footing and this bridge breather kind of landed on my chest. It still causes me pain now. Yeah, I can imagine it's very painful for you then. Yeah, it was, yeah. OK, with the information you've given me, I believe this is worthy of further investigation. If you've been injured in an accident and it feels wrong, call us on 0800 556 557 to see if you might have a claim. Thanks for your help, mate. You've been, uh, you've been a gent. Not a problem at all. National Accident Helpline. No matter what your idea may be, register the perfect domain name before it's gone. The one and one Domain Explorer will find you the best matching results for millions of possible combinations. It all begins with the perfect domain, oneandone.co.uk. If you're looking for beautiful, bespoke-fitted wardrobes, designed to not only fit your room perfectly, but maximise space too, with tailored storage solutions created just for you, where everything is beautifully organised in the right place, then trust Sharps. Our half-price sale is now on. Call or click for your nearest showroom or to arrange your free home design visit. Sharps. 
created with you. Deep cleaning doesn't have to be expensive. The new Dyson Lightball Multi-Floor Vacuum is one of Dyson's most advanced vacuums. Patented ball technology means it's easy to manoeuvre. A new motorised brush bar with an epicyclic motor provides powerful pickup on carpet and hard floors. Lightweight and versatile, it cleans up high across all floor types and countertops with easy hygienic bin emptying too. Dyson Lightball Multi-Floor, the latest Dyson technology for only $199. There's something unusual happening at Britain's biggest bingo site. A unique, totally free-to-play game called Stars, where a lucky few will win a share of £30,000 every week. Simply reveal your stars each day to be in with a chance of winning. Find your stars for free at Tombola. Now, where are those slippers that my daughter bought me for my birthday? Oh on an internet auction site. You'll feel comfortable about anything in a chair from HSL because only HSL gives you clever comfort. Our unique seven-point seating assessment ensures the perfect ergonomic design with the latest technology and styling for complete relaxation. Call HSL or go online. My hair feels stronger than I could ever imagine. Pantene Shampoo and Conditioner. The Smart Pro V formula finds your weak spots and helps make them stronger from the first to the last centimeter. Train your hair strong. Strong is beautiful. Pantene. And now, new Pantene Foam Conditioner. The strength of our Pro-V formula in an air-like foam for conditioning without the weight. With a smart meter, you can see exactly how much energy you're using to the penny helping you understand how a few simple changes around the home can reduce your energy and lower your monthly bill. Contact your energy supplier today.